Hi everybody, happy summer. It's Audrey. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing a page uh, using the June Hip Kit Club kit and I am going to focus on using some cut files and some mixed media. So first I'm going to be using some of the items that come in the color kit this month. So we have two shimmers, uh, creamies I think they both are, and um, uh, spray mist as well. I do not remember the names of the colors. You can probably see them there on the screen if you pause the video there for a second. And I just took out a piece of watercolor paper from my stash um, and I'm going to just kind of play around and experiment. So I am using some uh, just some water and watering down these colors, this kind of pinkish purple plum color and then the other color is a little bit more peach. And I'm just putting in some darker areas of color and some thinning it out a little bit with some water and some lighter colors. In my plan here, um, off to the left, you can see I have some of the uh, Vicki Booten uh, stamps and dies, and I am going to stamp over this watercolor area. That's why I'm not, uh, I'm not actually creating my layout. I probably should have said that first. I'm not actually creating my layout on this paper because I don't really scrap eight and a half by 11, um, but I'm just going to stamp some flowers on top of the colors I'm making here and then um, cut them out with the dies. So once I get um, that done with the pink and peach colors here, I'm going to um, try something with the blue mist and do, okay, I'm not yet. <laughs> I thought I was going right to that. I'm going to stamp over these first. So I pick um, kind of like a, a charcoal dark, actually is this, yeah, Actually, it's a little bit more brown. It looks a little bit more brown in the video. Um, I can't even see the name of the color, but uh, I didn't want I didn't want the lines to be really really black. I wanted them to be very subtle. So um, it's kind of a, a grayish brown color. And I'm just going to stamp in different areas here. When when I stamp the image, I'm trying to get a little bit of the pink in there and a little bit of the peach um, in each of the the flowers. And my paper was a tiny bit warped because um, I really was um, going heavy with the water to thin down some of the color in some areas. So I did a couple of the flowers did not get um, stamped cleanly, but that's okay because I, I, I did plenty there. and I'm not going to use them all anyway. So I'm going to do the same thing here with the blue uh, mist and I'm going to just kind of paint it on and thin it out with the water. And I, and I was going to stamp the flowers in the peach and the pink, and then um, there are some leaf leaf stamps um, that I was going to use for the blue, but I decided that I needed to add another color to the blue, and they just couldn't be all blue. So I am going to go in with um, a little bit of teal here, maybe. And this is just, this mist is a mist from my um, stash. Actually, it's kind of a, it's more green than it is teal. It's an old Studio Calico, Mr. Huey, I can't, I think it's called water cooler. So it's kind of a greenish um, blue, but I like the way that that looks with the, with the dark blue there. That's a little bit of lightness. So I'm gonna kind of fast forward this part here because it's just really me, um, you know, putting on some more color here, adding a tad bit of yellow. And then I wasn't really sure about the yellow, so I'm gonna start um, another area with just going back to the blues and the greens. I thought the yellow was kind of too dark um, compared to some of the other yellows that I had um, that I was going to be using in my papers and stuff. And I also, I, I went through the blue with the blue first here as you saw and then um, dried it with my heat gun and then went back through with just uh, another layer of blue. And I like the little kind of depth that that gives. A few splatters. And now once these are all dry, I am going to take um, the pink part and cut it out. And I'm going to use the dies that fit the flower shapes. And I do not have a magnetic base. That has got to be one of my uh, next purchases <laughs> for my um, Big Shot is getting a magnetic base so that those pieces stay uh, in place. And especially with the paper being a little bit warped, they are slightly off, but it's no big deal. You can't, you can't really tell. Although <laughs> this is a little bit of a pain. I was trying to, you know, because the flower is a certain shape, I could not match up the small die to see exactly how it fit over the flower shape. I kept twisting it and I didn't think it looked right. And finally 
finally I got it to go the right way. So I do this, cut out a whole bunch of these. And then I do the same thing with the blue, except I'm going to stamp these, um, this leaf stamp. And this leaf stamp is very detailed, whereas in the flower stamps, there is a lot of uh, white space. When I stamped with that brownish uh, ink with the leaf, it was just too dark. So I don't actually end up using those leaves that I stamped. One of my goals lately has been to try to incorporate more cardstock into onto my pages because um, I do get the cardstock kit with the Hip Kit Club every month. So I am going to use a piece of white cardstock for my background, and I've cut out this cut file. I think this is the I think this is in the May or June cut files at, in Hip Kit Club. Um, that's out of the green cardstock, and then I have the blue cardstock that I'm just going to put down the middle of my page. I tore off the bottom there. And on this cut file, I know it's a little bit off screen, but what I'm doing is you see how there's a straight edge all the way around. I, I kind of like to have like the organic rough shapes around the edges. So I'm following the lines of the cuts and I'm cutting off the straight line around the cut file. I could have easily done that in Silhouette Studio, but it was kind of an afterthought, um, you know, after I had already cut out the whole thing that I should have cut off the, the straight edge um, to kind of get these nice curves on the corners. So I am going to just use each of these um, pieces I cut out here and kind of use them as a, a frame for each photo. And I like that. And because I had the pink, or I'm sorry, because I had the blue and green there, I thought my accents should be kind of in the uh, peachy color and the pink. So I went through through the Project Life cards and I pulled out a couple of these cards and kind of made, I guess this is kind of a loose grid design here. And I'm gonna scatter these flowers around to see how they look. I, I do try those leaves. By the way, those the, the leaf that I stamped on the blue um, watercolors does not did not have a dye with it, so I had to fussy cut those out by hand. That was a little bit of a pain. Um, I had also cut out this I wasn't sure if I was going to use the green or the yellow. I also cut out this lemon slice cut file, also I think from June, um, and you know I had considered using that as my whole background. But I thought instead I would just cut out a few of the little yellow elements and use them as uh, accents. So I cut out a few lemon slices. And here's where I decided to pull out the pink and the peach cards because I felt that there was I wanted the peach and the pink to be accents. And I wanted those accents to be in the flowers because I kind of wanted the flowers to stand out. And so when I had the pink and, pink and the peach cards down, I felt that took away from the color of the flowers. So instead I went through and found some cards that had kind of a blue base to match that cardstock. So it kind of, um, you know, sinks into the background more, blends with the background and allows the flowers to pop off um, with their color a little bit better. I found um, the bottom picture, there's a little lemon slice die cut there and it came from, most of the um, embellishments here I'm using are from the Pink Fresh Studio collection that comes in the kit. I cannot remember the name of the collection right now, but it's such, such a beautiful combination of summer colors. Also, um, so my, in the picture, my dog, my, my dog, my daughter is pulling the dog in this like little uh, wheelie cart we have. And because the dog really stands out because she, she's so black in the photos, I thought that adding a few black elements on the page would help um, kind of balance the, the dark contrast of the dog in the picture. So I found a little black heart and a die cut and then another... Um, another die cut that says something about being a wild thing that was perfect. And I put that on the top of the bottom photo. I'm going to add another little yellow accent at the top there. And I'm just playing around now with embellishments and what I want to add where I love how the yellow um, accents also pick up on the yellow in the photo. This little um, piece of paper, it says together. I cut that out as a square, but I am going to um, cut it. I actually will cut it into a circle shape because 
I have a lot of a lot of circular elements on here, and I thought the square element kind of didn't fit, so I will cut that into a circle. Um, I went through some of the enamel stickers, the circle enamel stickers, um, and I tried out a couple pieces of flare. So um, these are some pictures from last summer, and my dog is so patient. She is the most obedient dog I've ever had, and she can be grumpy sometimes. She has, she's very possessive of me, but she um, is very, very, very smart. And my daughter asked, you know, told her, get in the, get in the, get in the cart, get in the cart. And she climbed right up there and she got in and my daughter pulled her around for a while. I don't know if the dog liked it, but my daughter sure did. <laughs> okay, so um, I had everything laid out. I was happy with my layout. And then I took everything back off, like I usually do. I glued that piece of blue cardstock down. I'm going to go over it with some gesso to kind of just soften up the, the transition from the white to the blue there. Um, I'm just going to smear it in with my fingers, give it kind of a soft, cloudy look. And then I'm going back with some of this blue um, mist. And I sprayed it on some packaging. And I'm going to go through with a brush and just add a little bit of... Um, paint here, mist over the white and the blue. I think when you when you add gesso over two layers like this and then paint over each layer, it kind of makes them blend together a little bit better to kind of be more cohesive so it just doesn't look like one piece is stuck on to the other, that they're, they go together. And I'm going to go through with some splatters. Okay, and so now I'm going to start gluing. I'm going to, um, I glue my cut files down here first, and then I'm kind of, I just put the photo over them to make sure I kind of get them in the right area. Um, and then I went through and put everything back on kind of where I wanted it, and then I'm gonna start putting it all together. I put some craft foam on the back of the photos, which I don't know why I don't have that on video, but. Uh, that's just cheap craft foam I buy off Amazon. And I'm going to glue those down over the top. I think I glued the cards down at this point, the 3x4 kind of Project Life cards there. And I'm going to go through with um, some foam squares and pop up my die cuts in the bottom photo. And the stickers that I used for the title Sweet Happy Memories, the word memories overlaps the photo a little bit, but because the photo is popped off the page, I have to pop the word memories off the page. So I cut up some foam squares into really, really tiny strips, and I put them behind um, different air, different spots behind the word memories. So really, really tiny pieces. I wish a, I mean, I guess it's no big deal to cut up the pieces, but I wish a company would design really teeny tiny foam squares. Um, that were much smaller to put behind really tiny bits, but maybe there is already, and I just don't know about it. Um, all right, so yeah, the rest is just me putting foam squares behind different things. Um, the number two there, you can see I cut it out in a circular shape. I, I literally just took my, um, my glue bottle, or maybe it was a mist bottle, and I put it over and traced it with a pencil, and then I stitched around the edge so it says together. And I love that little pink phrase underneath the bottom photo. It says, every wild moment. And just going to pop some of these flowers off. And I think that does it. I do add some journaling there. Um, did I remember to put the date on? Probably not. Um, and that's about it. So here is the finished page. And I really love how this came out, all the cut files and the die cuts and just these colors are, I love, love, love these colors so much. And here are all the little layers. And I'm happy that I used a lot of cardstock on this page. Actually, I didn't use any pattern paper now that I think about it. So thank you so much for stopping by today and stay scrappy, friends. Have a great day.